If you caught my last video, you know that I'm in the middle of an office refresh with the goal of bringing my workspace into better alignment with my personal style and encouraging you to do the same. In case you missed that last video, I've already been through the steps of clearing out the things that I don't want or need anymore. I moved a few things around, I decided what I needed to buy, and now I'm at the fun stage of getting to shop for those items. At the end of this video, I will share the easy way that I have brought all of these items I've been shopping for together to make sure that everything looks good before I hit the buy button. If that's something you're excited to see, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss out on the full office makeover tour coming soon. After taking a deep dive into my Pinterest boards, I was able to identify several different elements that I was seeing consistently in those photos, but that were missing from my home office. And this is a really easy way of figuring out what you need to shop for. For this step, I'm consulting the list that I compiled in a new to me software, which is free to use called Notion. So if you'd like to download the template that I'm using that I created for myself, you can grab that for free in the description below. I'll be going through my list category by category and showing you where you can shop for similar items for your workspace. As we're getting started here, leave me a comment to let me know what you're shopping for to bring your office up to date and in better alignment with your style. Even if you're someone who prefers to work from the couch, I think we can all agree that a desk is the centerpiece of a good home office. I'm shopping for a lot of things in my home makeover, but a desk is not one of them because I just replaced mine a couple years ago. I will use this opportunity to share that I still love it, which is not true of all of the newer items in my office. We'll get to that later. My current desk is from World Market. It's called the Wood and Gold Metal Sloan Desk. And since it is from a couple years ago, I don't think that it's currently available, but I'm going to link to some lookalikes below. My desk is the perfect size for my needs. I use a laptop and I usually don't use an external monitor. So all I need is a space for my computer, my external hard drive, my planner, a glass of water, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and a candle. It's pretty minimal, but that's how I like it. There is no space for clutter to fester. If you're shopping for a new desk, I think that it is the one area that absolutely needs to value function over aesthetics. And I don't say that about very many things. Consider how you work and how much stuff you need on your desk to be productive. Do you use an external monitor? Do you share a desk with your toddler? And how much space is available in your room? How much of your room do you want to take up with your desk? Once you're able to answer those questions, it's time to shop. If I were shopping for a new desk for this home makeover, here's where I'd be looking. The first is World Market, where I got my desk. Here are a few more desks that I found on World Market that I think would look great in any stylish space. My old desk was from Target. Believe it or not, it was smaller than my current desk, but it still worked well for my needs. Here are a few of Target's newer desks that caught my eye. I'm all about mixing high and low. I'm willing to splurge for a piece that I really love, but then I like to balance the budget by choosing more conservatively priced items in other spots in the room. If you're going to invest in something in your room, I think a desk is a great place to put that money. So I'm also gonna share a few higher end pieces from one of my favorite online stores, Lulu and Georgia. If you're looking to make a big change quickly, a new rug can completely transform your space, purely because it takes up such a big part of the room. I currently have two rugs in my space. There's nothing wrong with them. They just do not fit the aesthetic that I'm going for. And they look nothing like the rugs that appear in the pictures that I've saved from Pinterest. The ones that I was most drawn to were oriental, traditional type rugs. So whether you're looking for something similar or something more modern or geometric, the absolute best place to shop for rugs 
is Rugs USA. They have a very wide selection and their prices are just unbeatable. Here are the two rugs I'm considering for my space. So for this space, since I already have this blue couch, that's pretty prominent. I wanted something that was a little bit more subdued. And for the other side of the room, my desk area, since the desk is wood and has some gold accents, it's definitely not as showy as my blue couch. I thought that that would be a good opportunity to bring in some of that blue color on the other side of the room. And what I love most about shopping on Rugs USA is that most of the designs come in multiple colors, sizes, shapes, so once you're able to hone in on the style that suits you, it'll be really easy to find what you're looking for. In looking at my inspiration photos, another area I realized I was really lacking was curtains. Because I'm not completely confident in my curtain measuring abilities, I knew that I wanted to purchase these curtains from a place that it would be really easy to return or exchange them in case I messed up. And nobody gives us that kind of security like Amazon. When I decided that I was gonna buy my curtains from Amazon, I kind of saw it as it coming with a built-in insurance policy. And to make things easy as I was searching, I checked that Prime button since most Amazon Prime purchases come with free returns. But of course, make sure to double check since every shop and every policy is a little bit different. And here's what I found. I knew that I wanted something in the white ivory family, something that could match my desk chair. And I loved that one of the reviews for these curtains compared them to RH Restoration Hardware curtains. That's absolutely the kind of look and level that I'm going for. If you like the look of these curtains, they come in a bunch of different colors. So I will link those below. Oh, and best of all, they come with two panels. That drives me nuts when I'm searching for curtains, which I already think is an overpriced item. And then you realize you're only getting one of them. Plants are another element that can really enhance a room. And right now, I really only have, other than these small ones here, this one medium size fake plant that I'm constantly moving from one end of the room to the other based on where I'm filming so that I can try to get it into the shot. So I knew that at the very least, I wanted to invest in one medium to larger plant and then one smaller plant, but in a different style than these ones. Something that has more of a vine that can drape over a bookcase that I plan on purchasing more on that in a minute. If you're like me, you get sticker shock every time you look at buying a plant, whether it's real or fake. So I'm happy that I, for this office makeover, took the time to really look around and see where I can find something that was reasonable. This is not one of those areas, especially with real plants, because I don't trust that I'm gonna be able to keep them alive, that I want to splurge. For this category, I have two stores for you to explore. If you're looking for purchasing a fake plant, I can't think of any place better than Hobby Lobby. They have a big selection and you really cannot beat those prices. Plus it's one of those stores that seems to have a coupon for every occasion. All of these examples are around the same size as the plant that you see in a lot of my videos, but a trick to making it look a little bit bigger is to elevate it using a plant stand. So I will link to the one that I use, which is from Amazon below. Call me ambitious, but for this office refresh, I am going to attempt to bring in some real plants. I love the added health benefits of being in a space with things that are alive, and I think they do look nicer, especially because the fake ones tend to attract dust really easily. And the source that I was able to find that has the biggest selection and some really good prices was Home Depot. I live in the South, so I really felt like I should have some sort of palm in here. I also like that it gives a little bit of that Hemingway-esque vibe to the room so I can, you know, pretend to be a tortured writer. And this one comes with a white pot, something that I would have bought anyway, so this made it a really easy choice to add to my cart. And for this redesign, I have it in my head that I need one of those plants that has a vine that can grow down a bookcase. 
I didn't know what it was called, but in my research, found that it is called philodendron, and Home Depot had a great option that I'll link to below. The most delightful and surprising thing about shopping for plants on Home Depot, one is that they offer free shipping, so you don't even need to go to the store, and most of them can be delivered in one to two business days. So if you need your plant fix quickly, Home Depot is your spot. Okay, about that bookshelf. If you've been following me for a while, it's likely that we share in a love of books, bookshelves, bookstores, and cozy spaces. And although I already have a very nice bookshelf in my home office, it just does not have that vibe that I'm going for. And this is a really important factor when decorating your space. It's really easy to spot something, especially when something's styled and think, oh, that looks great, I'll take it, which is what happened when I purchased this bookcase. But take a minute before you hit that buy button to stop and consider if it really fits in with your aesthetic or if it is just generally pleasing. Let me know in the comments. Tell me something that you currently have in your home office that is nice, it works perfectly fine, but you just know that it is not in alignment with your personal style and it's something that you would love to replace. These are the decisions that can make or break your space. So when I gave myself the permission to take that bookshelf out and replace it, I wanted to make sure that I was really choosing something that embodies that old fashioned cozy bookstore or maybe a print shop kind of look. A piece that I currently have in my home office that I love is something that fits in with that aesthetic and it was something that I thought that I'd be having to scour antique shops in order to find, but I was able to locate this card catalog style sideboard that lives underneath my TV from Wayfair. So I thought that I would return there to look for a bookshelf in a similar style. Wayfair is also where I purchased my current bookcase, which has held up really well, along with a lot of other pieces of furniture in our home. So I feel really confident about the quality of their products. I found one piece that almost fits the bill, but not quite. And because this is a piece where I am willing to spend a little bit more, and I know that Wayfair is constantly adding new pieces to their catalog, I am likely going to hold off on this purchase and keep searching. But in the meantime, if you're shopping for a bookshelf, here are some other sources that you may want to consider. Like curtains, Lighting is one of those elements that can instantly make your space look more elegant, which is the aim for my office redesign. It came to my attention in looking at my inspiration images from Pinterest that a lot of the rooms I saved have either wall sconces or gallery lights. And when I discovered that, I cringed a little because I did not want to have to do any kind of electrical work in here or hire an electrician. But then I discovered that Amazon carries a wide selection of battery operated wall sconces. Not only do you not need an electrician, but most of them come with remotes so you can turn them off, turn them on or dim them from across the room. Since this is a new to me product and I don't know exactly how they're going to work or how they're going to look and I couldn't decide between these two styles um, because this is Amazon, I just threw both of them in my cart. I will see how they look once they get here and, and then I will return the set that I don't need. Whether you're shopping for sconces or gallery lights or just any other kind of lighting, Amazon has so many options and I was even delighted to find that they have things that are a little bit less generic and that have that little bit of an old fashioned look to it. And I will link to some of those favorite options below. As much as I'm an old fashioned girl, I'm very happy that we have moved away from some of that hard, uncomfortable wooden seating. And because most of us work so many hours, I think that we should be comfortable when we're doing so. I like to think of a modern office as part workspace and part living room. So if you have the space, consider bringing in something like a couch, 
for using an upholstered chair as your desk chair or bringing in additional seating for family, for friends, and for clients. This is another one of those areas where I like the idea of mixing high and low. For this office makeover, I'm keeping my blue couch and my desk chair, which are both from Wayfair. But here are some of the pieces and online stores that I spotted during my shopping. If you've ever watched a home decorating show you know that part at the end which is my favorite right before the big reveal when they come in and place all of the details the things like pillows and books and candles knickknacks and sculptures and vases and for these kind of elements one store came to mind immediately and that is world market whether you're looking for throws or baskets or candle holders or frames or task lighting. They have the best curated collection of items. And I'd be remiss if I did not mention the absolute best and first place where you should start when you're shopping for home office makeover items. And that is inside your house. Not only is it great for the earth, but it's great for your wallet. It leaves space for you to splurge on some of those higher end items. And it's where I'm shopping a new sideboard to replace the teal one that is behind my desk. It's where I found a curtain rod that I bought a few years ago and that has been sitting in my garage. It's also where I found a bunch of frames that weren't being used along with some storage boxes. Shopping for your home office is fun, but it can also be nerve wracking. Even with the security of Amazon returns, I think that we would all feel a little bit better if we knew that all of these things that we were buying were actually going to look good together before hitting the buy button. So if you're planning a room makeover like I am, I recommend saving all of your product images to a folder on your computer or on your phone and then uploading them to Canva. If you're keeping any of the elements that you already have in your space like I am doing with my couch and with my desk, make sure to either snap a photo of one of those or find a product image and add that to your saved folder of images. This way you're ensuring that you are considering all of your design elements together. No need to do anything fancy here. Just open up a blank Canva document, drag and drop, move things around, take a look at everything you've chosen and compare them to your inspiration photos. Does anything look off? Is anything missing? Is this what you had envisioned? If you don't want to start from scratch, I'll include a free link to a Canva document that you can open up and start using right away in the description below. I can't wait to hear about the plans for your office makeover and to share mine. I'll be sharing more details along the way and then of course, a big reveal video of the finished space. So if we're not yet connected, be sure to subscribe so that you can catch the reveal. If you've already begun your home office redesign and have tips on places that you've shopped and loved, Please share them with everyone in the comments. I haven't hit the buy button on any of my items just yet, so I would love to see what you're shopping for and what your experiences have been. I'm gonna leave you with a few more videos that you can explore to hone in your design aesthetic. But until we meet again, get out there and make something beautiful.